we got some of the radios out here. There's still uh, two more, three more, I don't remember. But they fit there right. And now this one, again, which is the, uh, I don't know if you can see that or not. This is starting to lean a little bit. I have to tighten that up. Uh, this one here is the battery I told you about. I may just slide that behind all those until I check it. And if the battery is bad, uh, I'm just going to get rid of it. And I'll unplug the charger because I don't need the charger there. I'll put it in the drawer over there with the other radios. Now I do have more of these radios, uh, which belong to the squad. I may, if I have the chargers for them all, I may um, just hook them all up out here and keep them charged. Along with these, because I have three more of these. Uh, because if you need them, you don't have time to pull them out and charge them. So to have them sitting here on a timer to kick on, you know, 10 minutes a night, you know, at 3 o'clock in the morning or something, uh, just to, you know, keep them on a charge or even five minutes. You don't need a lot to keep them there. Hmm. I may do that. And if I do that, I'll move these over here and I'll put the other ones over there. And then this way I can kind of keep them separated. Anyway, guys, um, the other day I was talking, yesterday, I was putting these things through the wall. I don't even know if this battery is still running or not. And this thing is all coming undone. Uh, I was putting these connectors through the wall. And still running or not. And this thing is all coming undone. Uh, I was putting these connectors through the wall. And they're, like, as you, you can see, I mean, you know, <laughs> that's like eight inches too long. That one there is a couple inches. And that's really going to get in the way. And it's really not necessary to have it there. And it's kind of crazy. I mean, it's just, it's there. It does the job for now. But then I was talking to you guys, and I was mentioning something about how they have short ones. Uh, they're a little bit longer than they're, like as you, you can see. I mean, you know, <laughs> that's like eight inches too long. That one there is a couple inches, and that's really going to get in the way. And it's really not necessary to have it there. And it's kind of crazy. I mean, it's just it's there. It does the job for now. But then I was talking to you guys, and I was mentioning something about how they have short ones. Uh, they're a little bit longer than what they call a barrel connector. They're actually a little bit shorter than this. Um, this is for a white. But uh, they're like two inches. And then they have three inch, four inch, five, six, and so on. So I'm thinking, okay, I was going to order a couple of threes and fours, but they wanted $17 a piece for them. That's crazy. Because, I mean, I've got foot long ones that didn't cost me that but then again i bought them years ago so anyway i was telling you how the shorter ones are good and a lot of guys what they do is they'll get a piece of wood or a piece of uh quarter inch plexan or something like that and uh, they open up a window and they cut the measurement and then by the height that they think they're going to need you know three four inches high by the width of the of the, of the window right inside to the track so it when they put it there you know they and it's there and then sometimes they'll put a little elbow bracket to hold it in place and they'll put the rubber weather stripping around the edge and they close the window on it so now they can take the little two or three inch ones put them all through the wood and then put it in the window and then they have it there it is. They're not going through walls or window frames and casings and, and running these through the walls at 6, 8, 10, 12 inches. And they just put it through one of these. So I was talking to you about it and saying, Gee, you know, I, I, maybe I could have done it here, but I didn't want to have that big piece of wood sticking out there. You know, and, you know, and then I'm thinking, well, wait a minute. I still have to shingle this. So when I'm shingling this, I can cover half of this with the shingles. The shingles may pop out a little bit here, may look a little 
But you know what? You're not even going to notice this. Uh, even if I cut the shingles around it, you know, it's noticeable now because I got house wrap on it. You know, and, and that's all white. So naturally something's going to stick out on there. But once I get it all shingled, you're not going to notice it. So what I did, I got on the internet last night, and I ordered 10 of the 2-inch because that's all I need. I'm not going to use this piece, though. I'm going to get a piece a little bit bigger. Uh, I'm thinking probably, well, I have a piece that I was thinking about, if I could find it. It's not going to be this long, because I don't need it to be that long, but I'm going to take it right about there, and then I could put two, four, six, eight, ten. I'm done. Cut a hole, just big enough for this to fit in, in the wall, put that over it, I'll put some gooby goop behind it so that it seals up, because I'll be doing it from the outside, and uh, and, and yeah. Uh, I didn't catch his call, but if I did, I could tell you where it was. Um, and then, if I want to hook up an antenna, this is there. All I got to do is screw it on. Unscrew the weather cap, screw it on, come in here, screw the radio into it, and I'm done. So as I was talking to you about it and thinking about it, I'm thinking, well, why don't I just do that? You know, uh, if I had a window here, eh, maybe, probably wouldn't do with that. But, you know, like I say, if you live in a place to where you, you know, you don't want to drill a hole through your house and it's in your house, you know, your radio shack is in your house, which most of the time, uh, a lot of the guys, that's what they do. You know, they pick a room, you know, uh, if they have like a, a in-house office, sometimes they'll make it part of the in-house office. So it's a radio room, their computer room, their office, whatever it is you want to call it, you know. So, and that's how that usually works. So that's what I'm thinking of doing. So I, well, that's not what I'm thinking of doing. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just waiting for the parts to come in. I don't remember checking the email either. So let me check it now just to see if it tells me. I keep... Oh, you're on. Okay, you're recording? Good. I was just going to say, I keep forgetting that the 360, I, I keep walking away from the camera. That's why I like the 360, for me anyway, because I'm always walking away from everything. Uh, I don't remember what email I used for uh, Amazon. Gun stuff the wife wants me to look at. Uh, 